Welcome to F260, week 15, 1 Samuel 3 and 8, entitled, Brethren, Make Your Election and Calling Sure. The highlight verse is 1 Samuel 3.10. And the Lord came and stood and called as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant heareth. <clears throat> Explaining this. In the fulfillment of her vow, Samuel's mother dedicated him to serve the judge Eli at the temple in Shiloh. While sleeping, the Lord called Samuel, and thinking it was Eli, he went to him. The third time it happened, Eli realized that it was the Lord, and told the child if the Lord called again to answer him, which Samuel did. The Lord then revealed to Samuel certain future events that would unfold in Israel. The Lord was calling Samuel to establish a personal relationship with him and to appoint him to serve as a prophet to speak to the people on the Lord's behalf. Applying this, actually the Lord has a calling on all of our lives. First, to have a relationship with him and afterwards to serve in various areas in which he has gifted us. It was not until the fourth time that Samuel heard the Lord's call. In my case, there were three calls. The first time was in junior high school. In our music class, there was a worshipful Catholic hymn of praise we often sang. And every time we sang it, I would get chills and goosebumps all over. Uh, I was much puzzled by this, but the fact is, I was so spiritually dense, I did not realize that it was God responding to our praise. Of course, at the time, I was ignorant of Psalm 22.3, which says that, the, that God inhabits the praises of his people. <clears throat> the second time was when uh, the Korean War broke out. I was in the Marines and had volunteered to be transferred from stateside to overseas duty. Shortly thereafter, I found myself aboard a ship uh, in a convoy on a three-week journey to Korea. Uh, there were many Marine reservists aboard who had been called up to serve again. And after hearing their stories of horrific experiences they went through fighting the Japanese in World War II, the fear of the Lord came upon me, and I wondered, what have I gotten myself into? I might not come back from this. Uh, being convicted of my sinful lifestyle, I promised God that hereafter I would live for him. But I am ashamed to admit that my promise was short-lived. The third time he called me was shortly after the death of my first wife. I was grappling with the finality of her death, the realization that I would never see her again, and I prayed, Lord, where is she? In that unforgettable moment, I felt God all around me. It was like being immersed in a sea of love, and I heard, you asked where your wife, where your wife is. I am showing you what it's like to be in the presence of God. This experience made God very real to me. This time I answered his call and I was saved. After we answer God's first call, there are other calls for service. Mine, mine have been as a father, grandfather, church elder, and prison minister. <clears throat> I thank God every day for the privilege privilege and pleasure of having served him in these ways. My response, Lord, give us all sheep's ears to hear your call upon our life, for it is in knowing and loving and serving you that makes life more meaningful and worthwhile. Amen. God bless.